Okay, so the next thing we're going to work on is getting this radiator positioned. And make sure that if you're running a, a battery uh, up front, that this radiator hose outlet is going to clear your battery and that you are clear of your alternator. So this is a little deceptive because that, that mount uh, for that stud on the alternator is actually below that fan so it looks like it's overlapping, but it's not. Um, so we're gonna mark these holes and then I'm gonna install rib nuts and bolts and tighten this down. Um, on all these bolt down radiators, um, I don't use a top mount. Um, if you secure them to the core support, they're very solid. Right, so this is what we'll be using to bolt down our radiator. We've drilled a new hole on each side that size. Use that tool to crimp it down and then we're going to run a bolt down through the flange on the radiator. Okay, our rib nut is in place, our radiator is in place. Drop our metric 8 nut, our bolt and washer in there. Do the same on the other side. And then we'll tighten it down. Radiator secure. Okay, coolant hoses. What I've got here, since I'm going to run a reservoir, is <clears throat> basically a stock Mark III uh, silicone hose kit um, from Travis over at Audubon Auto Works. We stock it on our website. You can buy it from him. You could buy any silicone kit um, that's complete like this, and you're going to end up trimming some of these down because they're made for a Mark II or Mark III, so they're a little long. Um, but I'm going to trim this upper hose. The lower hose, um, I'm actually using one of mine uh, because it's already shortened, but you can shorten your uh, lower hose. Here's, here's that one. Um, look up a Gates power clamp, um, and you can cut your hose down, put in, a, in an aluminum um, splice, and then use two Gates power grip clamps, and they are heat shrink. And then you got a permanent hose. Um, we also sell an upper and lower hose, but it doesn't have this T in it, which I'm going to need for this overflow reservoir here. Um, but that's that's generally what I do with my coolant uh, lines if we're not making something custom.